Yeah, yeah he, uh, dude kind of did a sweep through move over his head. Chris catched me across the eyes, so I got like a kind of a messed up retina or something, something corny or something wrong with it. But uh, no, it was definitely a physical game. Um, we knew they were going to come out and play physical, but we a physical team too. And I mean, that's kind of what we've been all season. So we do the tougher team will win. Coach has been telling us all week. So I think in the end, uh, the tougher team won. And you got to give a lot of credit to them. Um, they came out and played hard, and they pushed us, and they didn't quit. Uh, that's an older team, a senior team. And I mean, I know it's hard coming over from the West Coast to play down here on the East Coast with the time changing and everything. So they definitely gave us a, a physical game and a tough game. So uh, that's what we wanted. We wanted a competition. We wanted a, a battle. And I mean, all the games that we played the rest of this postseason will be that way. Uh, I mean, we was definitely happy. I mean, like you said, it had been a battle all night. And I mean, the glass, the rebound uh, margin had been an important key to the game as well. Uh, I mean, they were, they were sending five guys to the offensive boards every time. So boxing out was huge. And I mean, AJ made a great play. I mean, he'd been making big plays all night. And that was a really important play for us to uh, finish the deal. AJ, what did you eat at halftime? Or what did you drink? Your second half was pretty ridiculous. Yeah, uh, I ain't nothing. But uh, I actually, we, at the halftime, we didn't know what we were going to do because it was just like it was, it was kind of closed and hurt to open it. But then we got some eye drops some some numbing kind of stuff that took the – so I could open it and I could see. And then once I could see again, I mean, I was, I was going to go and, you know, be, be myself. DJ, you missed those two free throws before and then you come back and hit two free throws to put the game out of, uh, I guess, pretty much out of reach for them. What went through your mind as you approached the line – uh, I mean, I'm confident, uh, regardless of what happens the play before or uh, in any play, you got to move on to the next one. So, I mean, I, I, I know I missed the two before, but I, I, I figured I knew I would make the next two. Um, as a player, I mean, you got to be confident. You got to stay poised and keep composed in situations like that. And, I mean, us going up five in a situation like that was huge uh, in us closing out the game. Did you notice when you, when you crossed that, that one guy in the, in the second half? Uh, I mean, dude went down. I just had to. I just had to finish. You know, we kind of we kind of spaced the floor out, and they kind of were doing a lot of switching and stuff. So I mean, whenever I got a guy in front of me like that, I know I could take him off the dribble. I know I could take him off the bounce. It's a strength of mine. So uh, I made I made a good move, and he, he went down. DJ, can you kind of? Um, I've seen it a lot, kind of like down the stretch, where he started doing a little slide step back. Thing. Can you kind of walk us through like what you see in a defender or when, when a defender makes a mistake where you can make that move and take that shot? Yeah, um, I mean I, I rep that shot a lot. Um, it's a shot I'm confident in, um, and I know I know if I can get a little space to get my J off, that I, I can get the rhythm, I can get the feel for it. Um, oftentimes when you, when you hit the jab, the, the defender kind of retreats back a couple steps, and once the dude retreats back a little bit, all you gotta do is create a little more space for yourself. Just like me, uh, I mean being a being a smaller guard. Uh, I got to create that kind of space off the dribble and create that, that space off the bounce. You know, somebody like Matt, Matt just raised up and put it in people's eye. And he don't dribble, he don't, he don't, he don't have to dribble it or nothing. I mean, you know, I wish I was I wish I wish was blessed with a 6'6 six, six frame like that to just raise up and put it over people, but I'm not. So I have to be a little more creative in, in what I'm doing out there. Matt, just talk about the mood in the locker room after getting a postseason victory. Mm -hmm. Talk about maybe what Coach's message was to you a little bit. Um, we, we, all, we all were very excited, you know. Um, Getting this win, uh, we we worked hard this week, you know, to try and prepare for this win, and uh, it was just full of excitement, you know, full of joy. Uh, we enjoyed it for the moment, and um, coach let us know that we'll be back in the gym tomorrow for practice, so <laughs> we'll get ready for that tonight. How much, how much did you talk about making a long run and what it would mean to the team? I mean, it'd be great for us because a lot of teams. I mean, there's only going to be a handful of teams that finish this season with a win. So I mean we're in a, we're in a, we have a chance to finish the season off with the championship. So I mean it's not the tournament we wanted to be in, but we can't dwell on the past. We got to move on, and like Coach says, they're keeping time and score. We're gonna compete. So we definitely want to send the seniors out the right way. Matt, Tank, Nick, we want to send those guys out the right way and send those guys out with a with memories that they can they can live with forever. Derek White uh, defended both of you guys at one point. I know you, he, was, he was switching off. Um, can you talk a little bit about what it was like going up against him tonight? Um, Derek White, um, number 20, 21, right? Right. Yeah, um, he's a good player, you know, good offensive player. Um, pretty, I guess he's an underrated defensive player. You know, he played pretty good defense. It was one shot when I tried to shoot, and he blocked it, you know. And um, we joked about it on the court. I told him, you know, that was good defense, things like that. Um, 
I just feel like he's a, he's a good all around player. You know, um, he has good basketball instincts and things like that. So, I, I um I respect his game. He's a good player. Matt, if this if this was the last game for you at UCF, mm -hmm. is this a good way to, to kind of go out? Um, yes, sir, it was a good way to go out. You know, um, at this point in the time of the season, you know, the only thing that matters is a win. You know, so I just try to we just we as a group we try to do everything we can just to make sure that you know we get the win, and um that's just what we did tonight. So that that always you know I'm always as long as I. As long as I um, end my career here on the win, you know, I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy about it. Knowing what you guys have been through the past couple of years, how good does this moment feel? Obviously, it's not the NCAA tournament, but it's still a pretty big win for you guys. I mean, it feels great. Um, putting a lot of work this off season, and, you know, we, we, we had some great runs throughout this season in this building especially. Uh, I mean, the building was great again tonight to play here in front of the fans again. Um, to play here for, for Matt, I mean, fifth year here, Nick and all he's done for the program since he's been here and Tank's second year here, you know, we weren't, we, we were not going to let those guys leave here without their last game being a victory. And, I mean, that's very important to us just so those guys can come back and always say they won their last game here. Did any of the seniors get the game ball or anything like that? Nah, nothing like that. BJ, you talked about wanting to test yourself against guards like these guys because mm -hmm. they played against competition like UCLA. Washington, how do you think you, you graded out yourself? Uh, I mean, we got the win um, as a point guard. I mean, that's that's one of the most important things. Coach always tells me, you know, point guards are judged by, you know, accomplishing the mission means winning the game and taking care of your guys. So, I mean, getting the win was the most important thing to me. Um, but like you said, I mean, they got they got an older team. They got a lot of good guards. Um, White is an older guard, and he's a senior. Like I said, I mean, I have a lot of respect for his game. And, I mean, with the way he plays, you, you can tell that he's a senior. <laughs> Um, just with the, the things he sees out there on the floor, the way he's crafty with it. He's not a very fast, athletic guy. He just, you can tell he knows the game and he knows, you know, where spots is going to be open. And he kind of, he's good at manipulating certain things, especially in transition, slowing down, changing speeds. Um, but I mean, the most important thing for us tonight was getting the win and we got that done. Anytime, thank you, Mike. How did you guys play on Monday? Depends on, again, it tips off here in about 20 minutes. Illinois State, UCLA. I know you guys got a show. I'll be out here, but you're going to try to keep an eye on that one to see who you guys play on Monday. Uh, I mean, I'm sure the coaches will. I mean, I, I can't speak for Matt, but um, I don't usually watch the other teams too much. I usually just come in and get the scout the next day, and that kind of just lets me lock in on what the other team's going to do. I don't like to, to watch the other teams on TV. Um, too much teams that we might compete against um, too often. I just, it's not a thing I do. Did you guys, did you guys feel yourself getting a little tight with the free throws late in the game? Nah, um, I mean, we've been in more pressure or pressure situations than that um, throughout the season. So I think we just stepped up to the line and missed them. So, I mean, maybe we got to shoot an extra 100 after practice. Is there, is there a difference in basketball that hurts them? Like Mitch, you guys usually shoot with Max Jones, with the Peters balls, with the Wilson balls. Are there subtle differences with the balls, or are they pretty much should be the same, right? Yeah, I mean, bo both teams got to play with the same ball. So, I mean, Whenever if, if somebody complains about the ball, it's like well they shoot with the same ball, you know. I think they're a Nike school. We're a Nike school, so they both been playing with the Nike all year, and now they playing with the Wilson. So, I mean, it's not like you know we come down shoot with the Wilson, they come down shoot with the Nike. So it's one way. It's the same ball both ways. Last question. Matt, back when you were uh, considering leaving UCF, and then ultimately didn't. Uh, what advice would you have to someone who finds themselves in that position? Um, you know, if you have a coach like Coach Dawkins, you know. I would say, you know, don't second guess him, don't question it, you know, just stay here. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna mold you into a player, you know, mold you into um mold you to get in the mindset of, of winning, you know. And um, I tell any recruit in the, in the country, you have an offer from here, um, it's the place you wanna be.